Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Sumi Subhanyada. You may have often heard how India reports the maximum number, one of the maximum number of accidents and falls. Many of these falls and accidents also result in acute brain trauma. And in cities and towns beyond metros, there is often a scarcity of uh, diagnostic equipment to, to treat or diagnose these patients. Now, an Indian company called Bioscan Research, in collaboration with several government institutions such as ICMR or Indian Council of Medical Research, AIMS Bhopal, Limhans, and some other institutions, has developed this a very small portable device which can be used you know, to detect brain bleeds within minutes. This is a very uh, you know unique kind of a thing because there is no such equipment is available anywhere in the world probably. To discuss this very interesting topic, we have with us uh, uh, Mr. Anupam Lavania. He is the CEO of uh, Bioscan Research. Thank you so much, Mr. Lavania, for joining us in the conversation today. Thank so you can you me. please tell us how the idea of developing such a device come about? And you know, if you can also take us through the development process for this equipment. So uh, this device is developed by me and my partner, Shilpa, Shilpa Malik, who's also my wife. So uh, we were in Singapore on our life assignment uh, with, until 2013. And then we experienced something in our family. And then we thought that uh, 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 that motivated us to build some uh, innovative medical devices to solve some unresolved problems in uh, the healthcare space. So this was one of that, the delayed detection of brain hemorrhages was one of those. So we came down to India. We started building something. Uh, Shilpa is the real brain behind it, and she actually she's a scientist. She was she's an ex scientist of cardio. She has a very good idea of time of flight and radiations and things like those. Uh, we are both engineers. I also come from technology background, and I had an idea of mechanical and electronics and things like those. So we combined our knowledge and the motivation that we have to build these healthcare devices. So we thought, let us start working on this. So the research started in 2013. It went on until 2017. In 2017, my first prototype was built. It was a huge one. It was like uh, what 45 kgs uh, mm -hmm. weight it was the weight of the device, and we used to carry it in the trolley to the hospitals, you know, to the to do the clinical trials and some kind of trials, and to showcase to the doctors and healthcare operators. Uh, since then, uh, the current version that we have is the 14th version, actually. So. It has gone multiple iterations. Now what you see is a handle device can be held in a single hand by anyone and can be operated by anyone. So yes, uh, the research took some time. And then we, after 2017, we did a lot of human trials. Like you just mentioned, uh, reputed institutes like Nimhans, Ames, Bhopal, Civil of Ahmedabad, and so on and so forth. They all contributed a lot uh, in allowing us to conduct the trials. In fact, those, those were independent trials. They were double-sided, blinded, blinded studies that were done independently by uh, new research departments. And the results were really, really promising. We got very high sensitivity and specificity. So, so that motivated us further. And then uh, we got a lot of support from ICMR and, uh, and government overall, I would say, in the BIRAC. So they supported us uh, not only uh, in terms of funding or, or grants, but also you know, connecting us to the right people, uh, kind of uh, guiding us about how to take this forward. So all that happened. And then, yes, uh, today we stand here. We have developed several devices across India. We are getting interest from uh, outside of India, from abroad as well. And, uh, that, yeah. That's it. And we've got multiple awards globally. So we've got more than 50 awards globally for this innovation from US, UK, Spain, uh, Singapore. Recently, we got one from Indonesia. That was last month. So you got multiple awards, more than 50 awards. So Very interesting because, you know, when it comes to uh, while India is called pharmacy of the world and we also make some uh, uh, devices, but, you know, when it comes to innovation, there are not many innovative products as such in these spaces which are coming out. So uh, this innovation, uh, I believe this is a patented product. So this is really, really important. <clears throat> yes. 
So, um, you know, you also mentioned, I had also mentioned earlier about how this is uh, advantage and advantageous over the, you know, current uh, methods or equipment which are there to detect these brain bleeds, which are uh, mostly MRI machines or CT scans, which are quite bulky and can be very expensive and not many people in rural areas or uh, tier three cities particularly yeah. will even have access to it. So if you could, you know, uh, take us through the features that this product has as compared to these uh, you know other alternatives which are there for detecting yeah. hemorrhages so yes as you rightly mentioned current current gold standard is uh, either a ct scan or mri or any kind of uh, brain hemorrhage or brain injuries which is the perfect device to be used however it is not uh, the most appropriate one for screening purposes uh, why because you see for mild injuries uh, where the symptoms are not there they may not be recommended for a ct scan when, when the injuries are mild symptoms are not there or symptoms are so mild that they, they sometimes are overlooked in uh, if in a polytrauma case or in, as a multiple traumas in a person so if you uh, so uh, however we are not replacing ct scan for that matter we are not exactly doing what CT scan is. because ct scan is an imaging device here not an imaging device as such we are screening and a detection device but uh, still, if you want to compare, I'll tell you why we, our device, which is Cerebo, is more uh, appropriate for screening for brain injuries is because uh, it has several advantages over uh, CD scan when it comes to screening purposes. It is Firstly, it is portable. It is a handheld device. It can be carried on the site of the accident, unlike a CT scan or MRI. Then it is based on near-infrared spectroscopy, which means it is based on uh, natural sunlight. It's like we are using uh, a component of a sunlight, which is totally harmless. So if you do it 100 times in a day on a person, it's totally harmless. In fact, it's suitable even for newborns and, and pregnant women. Uh, it's completely safe, basically. There is no radiation it, involved. There, there's no ionizing radiation, which is no, no harmful radiation, yes. You're just using normal component of our sunlight. So it's like, mm -hmm. it's like totally harmless. Then okay. uh, uh, it is fully automatic so that it can be used even if, let's say, a radiologist or a doctor is not available. The device can still be used and results can be generated and shared online immediately. So that's the beauty of the device. That let's say in the night if a doctor is not available in a in a trauma center. I mean, if let's say a radiologist not is not available, or CT scan machine is not functional, or not available, the machine is not available at all. At least this device can be used immediately to detect uh, brain hemorrhages within two minutes and share the uh, report to the relevant doctors or or medical professionals or relevant people so that is uh, the good part of this device okay so can you also uh, you know help us in understanding what exactly is the cost of this device as compared to and we'll then compare it with the other alternative equipment which are available sure so it's uh, it's approximately 15 lakhs uh, then it comes with several packages so yeah approximately 15 okay. lakhs and above 15 lakhs so that also and and you know one point probably we should have mentioned earlier is that this uh, you are also promoting it for use in cases such as it can be deployed in ambulances for sports injuries where yes. you know players are where exactly. players are exactly. yeah yeah so yes ambulances ahead. yeah so ambulances are a direct use obviously when an ambulance goes to uh, pick up let's say a patient if there is a call and uh, so the current protocol is that ambulance will take a patient to a nearest uh, uh, medical facility or a nearest hospital or whatever is available. But what happens is in case of a, not all hospitals or medical facilities are equipped with uh, neuro-related diagnostics instruments or neuro-related uh, personnel. So if this device is available in the ambulances, immediately so the time of transfer of fish see i'll tell you what in in case of brain injuries now there is something called golden period so the time of treatment you know between injury to treatment that time is very very crucial very crucial yeah so now if a, a patient has a brain hemorrhages and a patient has been taken to a, a general hospital where the uh, new specialist is not not available or the equipment is not available then from there there is an inter-hospital transfer that happens that refers to a different uh, hospital, which is neuropathic. So from there again, a patient is taken to another hospital. But there's a lot of loss of time that happens from uh, for inter-hospital uh, transfers. Now that lack, that loss of time may cost uh, even the life of a patient in certain cases. So so that time is what we want to save. Now if this device is available in the ambulances, 
while in ambulance while in a moving ambulance a device this de a device which is cerebro cerebro can be used on the patient and detected if there is a uh, brain injury or a hemorrhage if there is a hemorrhage directly a patient can be take shift uh, moved to a neuro facility instead of a general facility so that is used and used in ambulance. and of course can it also be can, can it also be used in patients who have strokes because you know we get a lot of uh, stroke cases especially the hemorrhage kind of strokes yeah so we can detect hemorrhage strokes yes yeah and also you know because uh, it's it is largely for to help uh, deployment of you know these detectors in uh, beyond uh, big cities or metros so how has the response been so far are you also reaching out to states to to purchase these devices and deploy them in hospitals and ambulances uh, can you please yeah, tell us with our limited with our limited capacity yes we are doing our best to take this device everywhere we are showcasing to all the states states health ministries to all the doctors medical professionals so everybody in the chain we are trying to take do so much as uh, i mean given that there's limited resources we are doing our best to take this device and uh, make we want see the idea is to reduce the mortality and, and morbidity among especially in, among the patients who are suffering from brain trauma so that is the aim so currently the uh, the, the recovery rate is about 30% and if the this there's a publication if it says that if uh, the if the right uh, detection and the treatment happens in time that can be increased to 90% so our aim is that out of all the 1 lakh people who are dying every year or suffering from mortality or morbidity every year just in india we want to reduce it to zero that is our aim and across the world there are more than 69 to 70 million people who are suffering from traumatic brain injury. of which 80% are mild injuries which means they are they may go undetected at the time of injury eventually the mild injury may develop into a severe injury then they are detected and the treatment starts but by then lot of uh, time is lost and the damage is done. so that's what we that's mean. really important then huge uh, aim that you are uh, aiming for so uh, you know since you have been in the sector for now over a decade how have you do you do you see any change in the government policy towards promoting and pushing these kind of innovation innovations and also if you could talk about your company's journey so far and you know future things in the pipeline what exactly are the other devices that you may be working on sure so firstly the support the, the landscape especially from the government's perspective has improved drastically Uh, there's a huge huge shift and now i think the government is also focusing on uh, medical device development innovation inventions within india and research so that has supported us a lot uh, there are there are organizations like byrac which has supported us uh, big time icmr has gone all out to support us and unless they were there i don't think we would it would it, it would have been possible for us to develop such a device it may be in terms of funding in terms of trial in terms of uh, you know technical guidance or, or other thing so we have been given a nice platform by the government so yes it has changed big time i would say otherwise it would not have been possible for us to make such a device in the big way yeah so uh, is your company also making some other devices like this some other interesting innovations that you're working yes. on yes yes see the our company the technology that we have built it's a base technology which is doing a deep tissue investigation using near infrared spectroscopy so that is a base tech that we built now on that base tech we can build multiple devices let's say uh, i mean just this for sake of understanding currently we are using this technology for brain analyze we can use the same technology for different organs of the body for deep in thrombosis for breast cancer detection for uh, okay. for tumors and different things so that is what we are working on in fact we have also already kind of uh, in the lab uh, lab prototype is ready of one of the devices which is uh, which is for uh, intraventricular hemorrhage detection in preterm babies that is basically uh, at the time of birth you know preterm babies which are born in 7 months they might develop small hematoma at the time of birth so the device that we have developed is at the time of birth itself if we can detect if there is injury you know you know the for premature babies the skull is not fully uh, hardened i would say so they might suffer something so that is one and we are working on the breast cancer detection actually theoretically we have established that we can do breast cancer detection and tumors tumors we have done practically also 
so yes we are we are okay. working on multiple devices that will come yeah so that would be very beneficial especially if you could uh, develop something to screen and uh, detect bre uh, breast cancers because the india now also has the highest number of breast cancers um, um, among all sort of cancers in which is the case also in many other countries so not only india but other kind of countries i'm sure can also benefit exactly. so before we wrap up uh, this conversation yeah please you you were saying something so please go ahead i was just saying that actually we have got interest from one of the countries in middle east and that is for this reason because uh, uh, in some countries it's difficult for men or women to go out uh, and uh, go to a hospital to for an injury or a trauma they want something that can come to their home so we are we have already got interest from there we've got interest from eastern european countries we have got a lot of interest from uh, even out of india and these interests are coming from people who are practicing medicine which is like doctors or medical practitioners and so on. i'm sure yes. they'll see a lot of benefit in these products and uh, you know before we wrap up this conversation there is a very interesting anecdote that i would want to share with our viewers and uh, you know I, i was told uh, by icmr dg some time back that when bill gates had come to india and he had gone to the icmr he was showcase some of the innovative products that uh, you know india is making especially in the medical device segment and he saw your product and he was very impressed with the technology and especially the size portability and the fact that you know people with minimum kind of uh, skill could actually use it and uh, detect the brain hemorrhages and he was very impressed so that's a really interesting technology that you have developed and Thank as you. we know india spends a lot of money every year on uh, importing medical devices so we shall also hope that you know that also considerably goes down as we go forward thank you so much mr lavania for joining us in this chat today thank you so much really appreciate that you, you have taken time for this Thank you Thanks. so much for giving me this job. Thanks so much.